What is good, self and it's on the camera through a game game. <laughs> you know, let's game through game game back on your YouTube video today. Uh, I'm going against the Dolphins. <clears throat> hey, Nat, what's cooking? I call with good news, Cap. I like the sound of that. What kind of good news are we talking about? Well, as we predicted, your play on the field this season has some high-profile brands looking to get you in their gear. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The sneaker world has taken an interest in you. Am I getting my own kicks? I can see that in the future. But first, why don't you tell me which brand you want to rep? Any athlete will be proud to rep this iconic brand. Sign me up. Okay, great. Let's make this happen. Natalie Day, coming through in the clutch. Appreciate you. Keep up the good work. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Giants and the Dolphins. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here. As it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Miami Boo. Dolphins. Alright, let's go. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to put throwing to start the drive. Stewart. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the NFC's leading rusher. Here we go. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. The Giants at one and three here in the early part of the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They thought they'd been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. Let's go. This is a club. Let's go. Expected to play really well. 
here. So not his arm, but let's get it. With his legs, a gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. Operating from the gun, Stewart. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches, throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. I'm like Josh Allen, bro. Amped up as they go forward. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they go and stand with Barkley. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. And here, Charles, as they look at the impact of some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive... And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants are on the board first here this afternoon. Now this is a crew, they've come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. See. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Boo. Man, let's go for it, come on. Oh, we did go for it. They took me out. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. <coughs> now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to get him to put some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. And New York set to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. A pass there over the middle to start things out. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. 
And this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. He is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Stewart. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. On the draw, this is Barkley. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. To throw on second down, Stewart. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And yeah, the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long. And they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their time. Come on, let's go for it. Stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And we didn't even make the field goal. At the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them. They got his man complete. He's on his way. Touchdown. Isaiah Hodgins, an 80-yard touchdown, and the Giants have taken the lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL-caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big-time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Play 
screen fake here on first down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. I want you to just run in front of the flipping DI or DB. Uh, a stat category called PBU pass breakup that's important too and they got one yeah there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away offense isn't possessing it making plays downfield and you just continue to harass the receivers harass the quarterback and maybe the big play doesn't go down the road catch the ball please excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to I know he was trying to get the complete. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. Following the fumble recovery, Stewart. And that one complete to Hodgins. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. Operating from the gun, Stewart escaping the pressure right. Why can't I just run? That time Bradley Chubb shooting him there for the sack. Gotta get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Off play action, Stewart. Yeah, then that guy has like unlimited speed. Essentially, have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth. God game. dang it, Madden. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Talk about a momentum shifter right there. Tie game, fourth quarter. These are the plays that win you games. And now defensively, the question becomes, how do you respond? And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there. Only giving up the three-yard gain. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And holding it maybe the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Well, he's had success running the football on this one, and that's undeniable. <sighs> the time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Here comes second down. On second down, here's Barkley. No, oh, nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Trying to waste the clock. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. 
The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's second down. It's a quarterback sneak. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Go for it! Come on! As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. God, this is why, Madden. Jesus Christ. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Flipping wide, Madden. We need some extra time here to decide the victor. Sixty minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And now out come the Giants. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and ten all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now this one complete on the slant route. So just three yards on the completion there. And it brings up third and five now. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts Kays in the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. This is a big spot for a rookie QB, and overtime's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is, and we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. They're starting to put together a nice drive. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and nine. It's Barkley on the counter. 79 yards rushing for him now as he was just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. And he 
gets it to the 32. Now full first down. And that's another big time run. And it sure looks like the leverage game is being won by the offensive line. They're the low man on just about every snap, and they're winning, pushing back the defensive front and creating great space for their runners. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Flushed out right. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but the yeah, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly off for not. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to beat the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys, poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. What the hell? What? They just added some minutes to the thing. Off the play fade. Stewart. Yeah. And I think the ball's out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. Please be down. That's so dumb, man! Time that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home. What the? Watch. She doesn't know such a piece of